Okay. I gotta talk about this Trish Paytas again. Yeah. I mean, listen, these folk like Abby Hanna and Trish Paytas, it is hard once you start talking about them, once you start making videos on them, it is very hard to stop, okay? Very hard to stop. Let's do a check. Let's do a check. Welcome to the channel, by the way. Um, my name is Ijoka, like the channel says. I do videos on my life, my mental health, my weight loss journey, and also whatever I want, including YouTube drama because I love YouTube. We got to talk about this Trisha Paytas. It's really ticking me off because there's an agenda going on. Honey, let's bring out our tinfoil hats. Let's just call it a YouTube conspiracy. There is an agenda going on. I have a mixture of polar seltzer, zero calorie, carbonated beverage, not the type that has that nasty artificial sweetener flavor. It actually tastes good. With, a, with, with some Fanta. This is a, probably about 30 calories. It tastes just as good, okay. There are a couple of things I wanna talk about. The first thing that's concerning me is how these drama channels are just completely ignoring um, Ethan's Twitter post. Um, even before Ethan made that, that tweet about taking down a video clip, um, they were just completely ignoring the video essays, Mysterious, a, cha a YouTube channel called Mysterious, completely ignoring her videos. Um, documenting where Trisha has lied and contradicted herself when it comes to things in her life and especially about essay that happened to her in school that she claims happened to her in school um, if you're into unedited videos chit chat style make sure you subscribe to the channel I'm just gonna say that I just gotta say that because it works Right, I catch myself watching videos and just forgetting to subscribe when I'm into it or forgetting to like the video, stuff like that. So I just have to say it because it works. We're trying to grow our channel as well, okay? We're like every other YouTuber. Um, probably only 20 people are gonna watch this video, but, I still, but you never know, but you never know. The drama channels are peeing me off. They are completely ignoring the situation. Drama channels have always peed me off. After the whole sister scandal thing, and they started revealing that, um, yes, these influencers message them, these influencers pay them, these influencers kind of orchestrate drama or ask for certain things to not be discussed. After the drama channels were out in the open about that, I started having... I mean, I've always had a huge distrust of them, but I started having even more distrust of them. Um, you're telling me these channels that nitpick every little thing. Like, I remember when Gabby Hanna, that whole issue with um, that the family of the, the young woman who was unalive and how the drama channels, like, Gabby will tweet like every little tweet, the drama channels have an hour long video about that little tweet. Or she made a really good apology video and she tagged drama channels that talked about the issue and they're like, oh my, God. like every little thing, right? Remember that, remember that? But for Trisha Paytas, they're doing the same thing with about her relationship with Moses. They're doing that same thing, nitpicking every little thing. An hour long video for every new little tweet. But somehow y'all gonna pretend like you did not see the video essay Mysterious made. Y'all gonna pretend like you did not see the tweet Ethan Klein made. It has me wondering, yeah, I'm gonna play with, I'm gonna play with my hair because it looks really interesting today. It has me wondering, are they on Trisha Paytas payola? Are they on payroll? <laughs> Is Trisha like messaging these channels like, please, you can talk about the Moses thing, but please don't talk about um, this uh, essay accusation, the, you know, the essay thing. Like, I don't know, there's something going on behind the scenes. There's something going on. There's something going on. There's something going on. So I just have to say that part first. 
I have to call out these drama channels first. Y'all are full of, y'all are full of BS. 100% completely. Y'all are not gonna pretend like, well, it's a sensitive subject matter. Since when? Since when? It's not the Moses scandal essay. Is that not sensitive? Since when do y'all care about sensitive subject matter? Okay, so first and foremost, I'm peed off at that. I have to bring that to people's attention. To the 20 people watching this, I have to bring that to your attention. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is Just to bring to your attention, um, this Moses thing, I don't know too much about it because when it first started coming out, it was simply, ew, there's trouble in paradise. Oh, did Moses cheat on Trisha? This was very stupid, very scandal. I was really annoyed with it because at that because I'm just like, who gives an F if I don't care? I don't care if there's trouble in their relationship. What I care about is we have a compilation of Trisha Paytas lying about very serious things. That's what I care about. Why aren't y'all sleuthing? Why aren't y'all getting more details together? Y'all, I have watched not just Mysterious' channels and live streams, but on Reddit, um, I've been on the H3 Reddit. I've been on the Frenemies Reddit. I've been on the Frenemies 2 Reddit. I've been on the Trisha Paytas Reddit and just seen, I'm just seeing I'm just seeing a lot of things that I'm just like, there's, I can't believe y'all are not talking about any of this. So the Moses thing, somebody brought to my attention, oh no, um, there's essay accusations with the Moses thing with two different women. I'm like, okay, well, I didn't know about that. Let me go, let me go see for myself. I don't have much tolerance for it, but what I do know is uh, a woman named Daphne is talking about she used to date Moses. Um, at first, I thought she was trying to say, you know how Trisha Paytas is like, oh, you if you're above a certain age, you shouldn't date people under 25, right? So I thought she was kind of trying to play on that, which I'm like, whatever. I'm literally like, whatever. You were in, <laughs> this is not... This is not a situation where you can't say, well, he knew that I loved the H3 podcast and he's the brother of he let you know you're not <laughs> this is not the same thing he Moses is not a public figure with a fan base and he did not hold um like a fan meetup and met you at the fan meetup and took advantage of the fact that you, that you are a fan of his like this is not the same situation so I really just was like whatever but then she talked about stealthing, which I didn't know what stealthing was. It's where um, the dude starts out with protection when you're doing the deed, and then he removes the protection. That is horrible. Uh, that definitely is a form of SA. People are trying to tell me that it's R. It, that's not R, excuse you. That's not R. R is when you're having the deed and you did not consent to the deed. I think that it's a form of SA the when you can you you consented to the deed with protection and then they they removed that protection. I get I could see your if you want to say well now it's R because your consent was conditional and that condition was removed so now you're no longer consenting. I'm not I'm let, let's not play semantics right now. The issue is um, that is a messed up thing Moses did. Um, Moses cannot prove or disprove what actually happened, okay? <laughs> you can't prove or disprove it. Like, bro, you either did it or you didn't do it. And Moses is acting sus because he's posting screenshots of text messages that, that show us nothing. They, they prove nothing. The only thing that would have been helpful would have been something where she, Daphne states, Thank you for using protection the entire time with a timestamp <laughs> to like, he didn't provide anything that helps. I don't know if he was just trying to sully Daphne's reputation by making her out to be some madly in love, delusional, 
ingenue. I don't, I don't know what he was trying to do, but that wasn't it. Makes me sus. Makes me feel like, okay, you probably did the deed. In which case, why are you even caught? Like, I, I don't know. If, if that were me in that situation, if I were somebody who had a girl, a young girlfriend, boyfriend, we did the deed, and I removed protection without their knowledge. And then years later, they call me out on it. I'm not saying any. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm gonna ignore it because it's true. <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying what he posted doesn't make sense. But more interestingly, part of what he posted shows him making fun of Trisha Paytas. How are you going to go from making fun of somebody and allowing your ex to make fun of somebody to dating them and asking to be their husband? It's very sus. The train is moving. The sus train is moving in on Moses. I find it very interesting. Brittany Snow. Uh, why do I keep calling her Brittany Snow? Her name is Brittany Simon. She made a video on Moses. More and more people are like, Moses is very sus. Very interesting. I'm not talking about Moses. I just, um, what this, how this relates to Trisha is Trisha's defending her man, which I've noticed Nicki Minaj does the same thing. I, I just noticed a trend of these women in the public eye who they mans do something weird regarding sensuality. And these women, they stand, not just stand by your man, Hillary Clinton, not not just I'm a stick beside him, but I'm a I'm a push wrong, false narratives, harmful narratives for his sake. I'm gonna push that. So Trisha Paytas is over here trying to say that this Daphne person is lying. Excuse you, Trisha, you of all people to try to call out another woman online on SA. So then the next thing is, you're such a hypocrite. And she uses that hypocrisy against Ethan because just find anything that she has said against Ethan. Months ago, yesterday, two days ago, she hasn't changed. She will say something about Ethan that she herself does. That she herself literally just does. And she's using, she's using certain liberal, she's trying to use like, I don't know what to call it. I, mean, I want to call it liberal protection, right? She, in my opinion, she, she has feigned, no, not just my opinion. She has admitted to feigning mental illness um, uh, claiming that she's transgender. Listen, she might be transgender. I just don't tend to believe it because she consistently refers to herself as a woman consistently. I know her pronouns are they, them, and she, her. Um, and there are times where she feels like a he, but since we can't know what that is, we just call her they, them, she, her. But she, I have never heard her refer to herself as a man in any way other than just saying, sometimes I feel like a guy. I have always heard her refer to herself as a woman. Always. And, and not even, you know, not even talking about, uh, I'm a woman, I'm a, per, a female presenting or woman presenting. She refers to herself as woman. She referred to herself as a woman two days ago on her Twitter. What I'm saying is I feel like she, she tries to use these, she tries to act like she's part of a marginalized group of people that needs protection. And she uses that against anybody that she's upset with but then she'll go and do the exact same thing to them about them. She's upset that Ethan even is mentioning her on his podcast. 
but a few weeks ago you went on somebody's podcast to talk ish about Ethan. The hypocrisy, we already knew that she lies about little things, right? Like we already knew that. If you've been watching her for as long as I have, you you've seen it. You see the inconsistencies and in how your, her stories are always changing. But what makes this worst of all is that she has said the name of a teacher that she claims essayed her, that she claimed has gone to prison for having CP on his school computer. And when we look up this person, this person has now died and she talks almost joyfully about this person being gone and she says, because this person is gone, I now feel brave to speak about what happened. But when we do our research, we highly doubt that happened because you lied. This person has never been to jail. This person has never been accused of having CP. We can't prove whether or not this person essayed you in any way. We don't know. We weren't there. We don't know. But the fact that the story is constantly changing and the fact that she has lied about pretty major things in the story, it makes us sus. And this is, this is, what I'm describing to you is how we can describe every instance of a story that she's told. I mean, she's she's talked about how 11 different adults have essayed her as a child in her story that she's telling to explain changes every single time she talks about it. That gives cause for concern, but we're especially concerned because she has given the name of somebody and this person is basically docs now because people are reaching uh, this person's family and this person is gone, passed away, can no longer even defend themselves. So in my opinion, what I think, what I think might be the truth and first of all, mind you, she has BPD, borderline personality disorder. This type of lying is common with people who have BPD. And sometimes these people lie so much that they can't, they can't tell their lies from reality. So keeping that in mind, but based on what I've seen about her mom, what she's written about her mom and her mom's relationships, what her mom has said, what I think actually happened is all of these things that have happened to her as say as a child, I think I think it was done by one person and it wasn't done by strangers. I don't think it was done by people who are strangers. I don't think it was done by a bus driver or a teacher or whatever, a neighbor. I think it was done by somebody that her mom let into the home. There are clips, you can find these clips, I mean, what Trisha has literally thousands of videos but there are clips of her giving just little tidbits she doesn't talk about her mom's ex-boyfriend much but when she does she reveals a little bit each time her mother doesn't talk much on social media and she definitely doesn't talk much about her ex-boyfriend but when she does little things are revealed all the time and you just connect the dots. Oh, interesting. He showed up naked in your room. 
Oh, interesting. He would get very drunk and fall into Trisha's bed. Oh, in, like just little things. Oh, interesting. He would um, get alone time with Trisha and, and t tell her to lie. Just, just little, little things, right? And this is just literally just my opinion. Um, I know this is really sensitive. If I'm wrong, um, you know, then I'm wrong. We may never know the truth or we, we may never hear anybody's story on this outright. And it's not our business. Preface with that. But I think Trisha's mother brought in a very bad man into the household. A bad man who I think this man did many types of SA to Trisha from a young age. And I believe Trisha makes up stories about how it's ha it's happening with other people to kind of save face, save her mother's face, to protect in her mind her relationship with her mom. Because if you were honest with yourself about what your what your mom did, like I just can't imagine how much how much pain and hatred I would have towards my mom, I would just feel like you were supposed to protect me and you chose him over me for, I don't know. It's, it's making me, it's making me want to cry right now. I cannot imagine what that feels like. And I can tell Trisha just really wants to have a good relationship with her family. And it might be easier to just pretend that those things happened with other people and not somebody that your mom tried to bring into your life. She also blocks it out. She tries to repress those memories. She tries to block them out. All that mixed in with she has borderline. Uh, this might be how and why she developed borderline. Actually, um, all of this mixed in with her tendency to lie, her habitual lying. And, you know, she doesn't have an identity. She doesn't have a self-identity. This is another hallmark of BPD. All of this is just a concoction that leads to this result. Saying with your full chest a lie about somebody <laughs> that never happened with that person. Maybe it happened with somebody else. And you don't want to talk about it. You don't have to talk about it. The thing that, that Trisha just never understands about her life is that she doesn't have to talk about this stuff publicly. She doesn't have to tell us. It's like she doesn't understand that we people on the internet, we're not her friends. We're not her family. We're not her loved ones. We're nobody to her. She owes us nothing. She doesn't need to tell us anything and we don't have the answers for her. It's like she doesn't understand this. I, she doesn't understand this. I don't think she ever will. Um, but that's my theory. That's my philosophy on Trisha. And listen, she may be this way for the rest of her life. I don't know. But people should continue calling her out on it. 
because she's sharing it online. And when I see YouTube channels that will make a three-part series about how Nikita Dragon was a fake friend to Jeffree Star. Oops, actually it's Jeffree Star who's a mean person. They will blow every stupid little thing out of proportion. But somehow when it comes to Trisha Paytas, y'all are pretending that you don't see anything. Y'all are acting like see no evil, hear no evil, whatever. And Trisha Paytas is also ignoring it, which any other type of scandal, Trisha is very adamant against people who come out against her. But somehow for, for this issue, people are calling her out for victim blaming um, Daphne. People are calling her out for this essay issue. People are calling her out for being hypocritical to Ethan. When it comes to these things, the most important of those being false accusations of somebody that you have named several times publicly and who you then basically said you're happy that they're, they're gone because of something that they probably didn't even do. All of a sudden she chooses to be silent. Like she walks off the set, the set of H3 Frenemies podcast, 75 tweets about it, but something this serious, silence. No, actually not silence. What she did was she posted a video and she said, oh, people are gonna bring up bad things that you've done past and present. So whatever, I just don't receive it. I don't receive the bad vibes. This is my, this is just how I look at it. To me, to me, in my eyes, in my opinion, that is uh, you're right. <laughs> because like I mentioned before, that's what I would do if somebody came out with something, like accused me of something that I can't prove or disprove, I would ignore it. Especially if it did happen. <laughs> Um, I, I think that's what my response would be. I think my response would be to ignore it. And Trisha's literally ignoring this. That's just my line of thinking. You might, you might think differently. I mean, it's totally valid to be like, well, maybe she just doesn't want to talk about, I don't know. I think other ways to view that is valid, but that's how I view it. It's really concerning me that drama channels are not speaking about this. That makes me feel like Trisha is in cahoots. And also, it makes me feel like Trisha is not stupid. I, she plays dumb. It's very so that, um, Sofia Vergara. You know that lady, she told like this. She said, why my father told me that if I, that I'm going to become a hooker. I told him that this, with these big boobs I inherited from your mother, I already look like a hooker. That lady. <laughs> I can't do her accent at all. But that lady, she plays dumb. I, she's actually a very intelligent woman. And I think you can kind of tell, like she, you can kind of tell, you can't tell that she's a comedian. She's doing it for laughs, you can tell. Um, and Trisha is putting on a show. I think Trisha's way more calculating than people give her credit for. I think she's very calculating. Um, the fact that she has like what she has, that she's built what she's built. You know what I mean? Like this is not like, this is not, there are, there are other people who are just kind of popular online and they just talk to their camera and it's just whatever. But Trisha is actually building things. She's producing things. She's in her bag. She's trying to do like Saweetie. Every time you see Saweetie, it's a new bling bling advertisement. 
for some collaboration she's trying to get in her bag trisha paytas is very much like that it's she's always in her bag so she's not stupid i think she knows exactly what she's doing and i think it's painful for her i do believe she has bpd and i think what we're seeing is the symptoms of bpd um but i I guess I'm just clarifying that th that doesn't mean she can't that doesn't mean she can't be held accountable. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean and I don't mean to say it in a way like, "Oh, she doesn't know what she's doing. She can't help it." I don't think she can help but lie. I think lying is just something is difficult for her. But Like when it comes to how she's choosing to respond, the moves she's choosing to make, she knows what she's doing. Um, it's very weird, but most of all, I'm just disappointed in these channels falling for it or taking the money or I don't know, I don't know how she bribed them, but I'm, I shouldn't be disheartened because that's, they do what they do, but it's just annoying. It's annoying that this discussion is being swept under the rug. What, so we can talk about maybe Trisha and Moses aren't actually going to get married. Or... In my last video, I was like, something happened this week. What happened? It's just so dumb. Anyway. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like it because then more than 20 people will actually see it. I just would like for maybe one or two of these drama channels to see my video. Just one or two of them. So they can know that we know what the hell you're doing. We know that you're ignoring this. And we know that you're probably on their payola. And it's not right. Th like, this is a pretty serious. Like, when it comes to demanding accountability and justice for, for things, I, I would think demanding justice for somebody who major accusations and lies were told about him, I would think that would be on your list. Let me know what you think in the comments, please. I'm interested to hear all different points of view on this. Until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.